Hey coders, how's it going? It's Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to use this library called SD Web Image. Now, if you've ever used UI Image View in your application and you wanted to grab an image off uh, the internet, kind of like this one, how I have it on my server, you can very easily do that with SD Web Image. Now, what it does is it adds a method to your UI image view class called set image with URL. And then very simply, it's going to fetch that image asynchronously in the background. And then when it's done, it's going to load it into your UI image view. So all you have to do really is to specify the URL of the image. So like I said, very handy to have. Now we're going to install this library as a CocoaPod. And if you didn't watch my tutorial on how to install and set up CocoaPods, just click on that thumbnail in the upper right hand corner and it'll take you to the video. Setup only takes less than five minutes. And you'll be up and running in no time. So if you have CocoaPods installed and ready to go, we're going to just scroll down to the section installing with CocoaPods and we're going to follow these instructions here. But first let's create our Xcode project. So you're going to create a brand new single view application here. So I'm just going to call it SD web image demo and make sure that the language is Swift and these options down here don't really matter for this demo and click next and I'm going to save it on the desktop. Now that our project is set up, I'm going to close Xcode. I'm going to close that project. I'm going to press command space bar and type in terminal because we're going to have to initialize the pod file for our project. So I saved it on the desktop. By pressing PWD, I can see which directory I am. And now I know I just have to type CD desktop to go to the desktop folder. And it, since it's on my desktop, I can type in CD SD web. I'm going to type tab to auto complete that. And now I'm inside my project folder. And then I'm going to type pod in it. So that's going to create the pod file. Let's take a look at our project folder to see if it indeed, if it has that. So there it is, the pod file. Now I'm going to right click open with and I'm going to open it in my text editor sublime text too. You can download that if you want, but you can also open it in your own text editor. Now, if we're using Swift, it says here, be sure to uncomment the use frameworks and set our target to eight. So we're going to uncomment this platform. We're going to uncomment use frameworks. And inside here, we're just going to copy this command C and command V. We're going to put it in there. Now I'm going to save it by pressing command S and let's go back to terminal and then LS. We can see our pod file there and let's type in pod install. Just to let you know, it can take a little while. You can see for me, I canceled it and restarted it uh, because I thought it wasn't working. But after I let it be for a few minutes, it just went and did its thing. So just a heads up, it can take a little while. So now that this is completed, we can open up our Xcode project again. So let's go into our project directory. It's created this XC workspace file for us, which is the one we're going to use and open. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna press Command B just to build the project. And then next, I'm going to go to the storyboard and I'm going to add an image view to our storyboard. So I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically. And I'm actually going to give it a defined height and width as well because I have, I'm going to download this logo and I know the height and width here. So uh, width is 522 and height is 324. So let's go ahead and add those. So height. So with this 522 and height is 324. Let's add those constraints and let's update the frames for that guy. And so there it is. Next, I'm going to go into assistant editor and then I'm going to create an outlet for this image view. I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it image view because what I'm going to do, let's go back to standard view controller.swift. What I'm going to do is load the image through this URL right here. So let's just copy that URL for now. Uh, let's go up here and write import SD web image because we're going to be using that. And then now in the view to load, I can type image view dot SD. You can see there's a bunch of new methods that wouldn't have existed if I didn't use SD image view set image with URL. Okay. And there's a couple of different ones where you can specify a completed 
block of code to execute after the image has been downloaded and set. You can also specify a placeholder image to show uh, before the image has finished downloading. I'm just going to use this basic one right here that's going to download the image at the specified URL and then it's going to um, set that image view with that downloaded image. Um, up here, let's create an NS URL first. So let um, image URL equals NS URL. I'm going to create this one with a string. Take note that it returns an optional NS URL type. So there's my URL and it returns an optional, right? So let's specify that. And then if it does have a value, so let's use optional binding. If let URL equals image URL. So if that URL exists, then I'm going to set the image view with it after it downloads the image. I'm going to pass it into this method right here. All right, and that's basically it. So I'm going to run it and you're going to see, hopefully this works. All right, there we go. That might've been a little fast, but it did go out and download that image and set it into my image view. Now it's a little bigger because I did actually set the width of my uh, image view to be 522 and that's wider than this view is. The great thing about this is if I stop the app and I run it again, you're going to see that it's really fast because it does cache the image. So it's not going to re-download the image if it doesn't need to. So this is just a quick video to show you how handy a little library like SD web image is. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Tomorrow there won't be a video because I'm going to be spending Christmas day with my family. So I'll talk to you guys on Monday instead. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share and like this video. Happy holidays to everyone. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye for now. <music>